Hey guys, Shadowbreaker9001 here with my new YouTube account which is devoted specifically to Yu-Gi-Oh related videos. I'm going to kick off with a deck that I've built specifically for the new format coming up. So, we'll start off, we've got uh, both Gauze and Trigodia because I find they're really good, um, you know, for stopping OTKs and dealing with bad hands. Dark Armed, two Caius, I'm really into Caius right now, it just works as removal on everything, particularly Synchros. Two Cyber Dragons. Uh, they're going to be good in the upcoming format because they give the deck a bit of aggression and they take out GBs as well. Uh, three Flanvel Magician, you'll see the importance of these later on in the video. Uh, two Flanvel Fire Dog, these are really good because you can just attack over stuff. 1900, you know, because they're quite powerful. Bring out Fire uh, Magician. And then Sink in the main phase too. Uh, two Go Cooper Spies, these are really versatile. Uh, they provide tributes for Caius or Sink with Flanvel Magician. Uh, they're good against Black Wings, which is going to be big next format. They attack into that, they usually don't run over it straight away. Two Gravekeeper's Guards, again, same reasons. Uh, targets for Spy, uh, good against uh, GB and Black Wings as well, especially opening move. Two Dekoichis, similar function to the Spies and Guards. Flip, gain advantage, tribute or synchro. Sangan, play spread out and Gale, pretty self explanatory. Uh, all the spells. Two Rekindlings, they're like real power cards here because you can bring out all your Flambells at once, especially good in the late game. Do a lot of synchros, you know, you can often push for OTKs. Two Book Moon, really versatile here. You can use it to help Fire Dog run stuff over, flip your Spies and Guards back down, or whatever, you know, it's always a good card. One Allure, it's limited now. Heavy Storm, MST, you know, usual stuff. Brain Control and Mind Control because we run five tuners here. Uh, just the one gold sarco, useful for grabbing stuff at the right time. Swords, people say I'm trolling when they see me play this, but really I find it's quite useful, especially with the Koichi. Uh, you know, it lets you build up a little setup actually, I quite like it in the minute. And the one lightning vortex. Uh, traps are fairly standard. Uh, two bottomless trap hole, mirror force, torrential, call haunted, solemn, and dust sheet. Right, there's the main deck. Uh, for the extra deck, right, uh, just the one miss worm. You know, I don't, I can't really make it, but I run brain control and mind control, so it's just there for the option. Uh, the level eight is really important here because it's the level that I make most really with the flamevel stuff. So two stardusts and two colossal fighters. Thought ruler, red drag. Uh, level sevens. I uh, don't really make seven much, but we got. Uh, Black Rose, Armour Master because we run Gale, and Arcanite Magician because that's got the Spy Guard engine in the deck. Sixes, uh, Goyo, Brynak, Gaia, again, six isn't very important for the deck, and then Magical Android and Catasta. Um, gonna put in Chimeratic Fortress Dragon once I get one, haven't managed to pick one up yet. Uh, this is the side deck, most uh, again, mostly made on predictions of the meta. I need to see what's gonna happen first, but. I've put in two DD Crows because I find with uh, Light Sworn they're only going to have one Lumina. You know, if I can crow that, do a lot of damage. And crow the JD when they go back in light, it's always a good play. Uh, two Jujus, mainly for GB matchup. Also getting its Black Wings. True Nade. Double Wabaku, Light Sworn and Black Wings. Mirror of Oaths, GBs. Uh, light Imprisoning Mirror, Sworn again. Dust Tornadoes, you know, generally anti meta, macro, that kind of crap. Uh, two compulsories. I'm um, not really sure why they're still in there actually. Probably take them out, but um, I just generally find they're quite useful against decks that play a lot of synchros and stuff. I was siding them against GBs at one point just because it um, slowed them down by a turn. Well, especially some of the new different variants which weren't running Test Tiger and that sort of stuff. But yeah, anyway, so um, as the deck, if you want to discuss it, then please leave comments. I'll be happy to answer. And yeah, so that's it. Cheers, guys.